Guys, if you're new to the hot shot trucking industry, just like I am, this video is gonna be very valuable for you because I'm gonna go over my first two weeks on the road, how much money I made, okay? My first nine loads, if they were tarped, if they were partials, how many miles they were, what the rates were. Also, if you wanna uh, follow me along on this journey of the hot shot trucking industry, if you think you find interest in this, if it's something that you wanna know, hmm, could I make any money at this? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, follow along. Uh, I'm gonna to try to bring you the truth about hot shot trucking. That's what the Baby Lion Hot Shot Trucking channel is all about. So hit the subscribe button and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you get some value out of it. guys welcome to the excel spreadsheet that i put together i know you probably want it to be like an action video of like what my first two weeks were like but it's best that we break down the numbers and see if it's worth our time to do this hot shot thing in the first place okay and it may be it's not my place to say is it worth it for so and so it may be worth it for you and not for another person you know so you make your own decisions i'm strictly here to bring you the numbers of what i made and it's probably going to look pretty similar to other for other people when they're first getting started now i'm leased under someone let me explain to you these columns right here i'm going to drop down one okay so you can see this was my first load right here now this is the full rate this is what they're paying the the broker was paying 1400 dollars 25% is, is cut off the top because I'm that's what my contract is. So I get 75% of the actual rate. So that's my portion. I just put, you know, for data, 516 miles. But this is really what you want to pay attention to, okay? Is $2.71, your actual rate per mile. So the full rate and the actual rate, that's going to be what you're going to get if you have your own MC number. Now, if you're leased under someone and they take 25%, this is what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. 75% of the actual rate, and I have it already broken down. I already did the math here for you so you don't have to figure out too hard. Uh, and then this is my actual rate per mile, okay? And I threw in a couple more you know, data points. Was it a partial? Was it tar a tarp load? And then kind of like a description on what it was. I'm gonna to try to throw up as many like little clips of stuff that was on my trailer so it'll give you a better picture of what you know if it was worth it or not um you know how carefully you have to drive if something's lower to your trailer uh, you don't have to drive as carefully as if something might be a little bit top heavy you have to drive carefully anyways no matter what but you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get blown up in the comments for half the stuff i say so it doesn't matter anyways now I'm gonna to try to keep this video short so you can get, watch other videos, so let's get right into it, okay? My first load, you saw that, I made a video about that. Um, the next day I had to pick up two loads, okay? This one, $1.15 plus $1.71 per mile. Picked them up in the Carolinas, went up north, okay? Now, some people are gonna hate me taking this $1.15 load but I had to do what I had to do. It paid $500, I was figuring, hey, that's, you know, picked up in North Carolina. I'm driving from South Carolina, so I'm pretty much going through North Carolina. So why don't I just snag that and head up north? That'll pay for my gas, and then I'll get this whole $1,200 as profit, you know? Now, I am leased under someone, so these numbers, like I said, are gonna be lower for me. So I'm thinking $375 pays most of my gas. So I might snag that whole $900 as profit for that one day. Let's move to the next day. And I'll get into the totals and averages toward the end of the video. Uh, let's see, this was not a partial, this was a designated. This was my favorite load, th or most interesting one. $3.75 per mile going 746 miles, okay, for a grand total of $2,800. Now, this was, let me, let me tell you, let me try to run through this really quickly. I couldn't get to the place to get it, but it was such a good rate that my dispatcher went and grabbed it, put it on his trailer, I met him, 
We parked trailers next to each other. He drug the big tanks onto my trailer. He, he drug them onto my trailer. And then I drove them to New York. No, 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 Long Island. I went through New York, okay? And like five, it took me five hours to get through New York City, okay? So this, right, 375 was not that great if you think about it because it took so long to get through New York City, I'm telling you. And the tolls, I went over a, a toll, a bridge, and it was like $88. So when they say don't go to California, don't go to New York, people are not lying, okay? Um, but that's just something you, ha you have to experience yourself. And if you go at nighttime, you know, maybe only drive at nighttime. That might help. Anyways, yeah, two big tanks. Coming out of New York, I uh, had to pick up two partials, okay? It's hard to get stuff out of, out of New York. So I got, what do we get? Oh, we got a car. We got a Ford Exploder for $1.21 per mile. And then we got uh, this like roofing machine where it goes up to a roof. It's like a dump trailer for roofers. Uh, I definitely have a video of that, of both of those on my truck. And uh, what, that paid almost $3 per mile for like around at least 600 miles. Um, and, and I had to deliver that. I actually picked those up on a Friday. I had to deliver that on the next Monday because I went home that weekend. So those sat on my trailer until Monday. I made sure that was okay. So it's not like I just drove straight there, you know. I had to get home that weekend. Um, and this whole shebang went for two weeks. Two weeks two five-day weeks with a weekend in between. Uh, and I'll go over the totals, like I said. So on uh, after the weekend, that next Tuesday, I dropped it off Monday, couldn't find anything, took all day because I had two drops on that Monday. That next Tuesday, I picked up a $1,000 load, which actually paid me 70, $750, then minus fuel, you know. I mean, I'm getting a dollar fifty a mile, and that was not a partial, so that was a designated load right there. Man, that's hurt. That hurts. Um, twenty twenty Ram thirty five hundred. All right, just because Copart says it doesn't drive doesn't mean it doesn't drive. Um, <laughs> so if it's a four wheel drive and the back drive shaft doesn't work because it's hanging down. Correct. You still have front wheel drive. I think that was like. That was a broken down Ram where I had to pay a tow truck. Yeah, you can see right here, my, my dispatcher told me that I got lucky. This is my first week, right here. That was my first week, okay? Now, I'm just gonna drag this all the way down because you're not stupid. You see the columns, you can see, you can pause the video. I might even put a PDF of this in the description, but that first week was good. He said I got lucky and then um, he was right because then the next week I only did, oops, the next week I only did these. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I had to pay a tow truck driver to get this thing up there. Get a winch installed on your gooseneck trailer so you can pull up cars that the engine really doesn't work too well. This is my buddy Tony. He got me into this hot shot game. Um, tell me. Tell them what you just told me about the winch. When you're gonna get a winch, mount it on your on your flatbed trailer for hot shot. The only thing we did wrong here, we've got an eight inch C channel. We welded this on, but we didn't weld it close enough to uh, the, this part. So when I went to go put the rollers on, I'm gonna have to redraw these holes and pull it up. But we have to wireless. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, we make mistakes, so you all don't have to. <laughs> all right. Let's get into it, okay? This is what you're waiting for. Okay, $10,850. If I had my own MC number, that's this is what I would have brought in, $10,850, okay? Now, I get 75% of that. So I brought in 8,000, right here, $8,137. Okay, and the total miles I drove, was 5,253. Now, why is miles important? Because my cost per mile, okay? First of all, um, my average, well, I'll get into that in a second, but actual rate per mile. So if you get it, so what I'm seeing right here on my first two weeks out, if I get $2 a mile, I'm doing good, okay? I didn't make any decisions on any of these loads. My dispatcher 
made 100% of the decisions. He said, go get this. I said, okay. My rate was 25% less than that. It was a dollar and 53 cents. Okay. You got to do what you got to do. All right. So I did what I had to do. Hopefully this can come up. It was my first two weeks. Okay. It can only get better. All right, here we go. The grand total for two weeks, I profited $2,884, okay? Now that does not seem like a lot, but you gotta remember, you gotta factor in your cost per mile, okay? I drove 5,253 miles, that's $5,253. You gotta remember your trailer payment, your truck payment, the wear and tear on your tires, the def fluid, the fuel, the uh, your oil changes, okay? Uh, I sl I did sleep in a hotel, which wasn't even included in that. Hotels, only two nights out of those 10 days. I only had two, two hotels for $88 because I was like, I got to take a shower. And then the tolls, which aren't included in my cost per mile. So who knows? It might be even more than that. But yeah, my grand total is $2,884 for two weeks. Now, I'm not going to say that's good or bad. For some people, that's going to be good. For some people, that's going to be bad. But these are the numbers that you're going to be looking uh, probably pretty similar to right out of the starting gate, right when you get your trailer and lease on with someone. Now, the next step would be, you know, maybe level up and get your MC number. I don't know. Who knows? I might have to get that and then build relationships and find customers and then maybe my $1.53 rate per mile uh, might go up. And like, there's so much stuff that I can show you. If you wanna follow along, subscribe to the channel. If you're still here, like the video, if you found any value in it. Um, and I'll keep bringing this information to you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. The comments have been like inspiring, really, because I am, Honestly, when it comes to hot shot trucking, I'm stupid. But this is the first, the, the, a lot of my learning lessons I'm gonna try to bring to you. A lot of the uh, mistakes or things that I do that I find are the easiest way to go about things, I'm gonna bring to you. So uh, once again, I appreciate it and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.